Hey guys, so just as promised, we are back with you today to share our new little project with you. Um, it's a beauty, isn't it? It's a beauty. It's a, this is a 2002 Cavalier LS Coupe. Um, as you can see, it needs quite a bit of help. Let's take a look right over the top of the tag there. It looks like the bumper split. The bumper split. Um, lost a lot of the paint and such in the process, obviously. Wow. Um, the paint on this car is jacked up pretty much. What is all that? Over. <laughs> oh, um, crap. This is all that's left of the clear coat on the hood. Um, well, unless you consider this little piece another part of it. But. Um, I see two different colors. See, there's two different colors. Uh, there is absolutely zero clear, none, all gone. Completely gone up here. Cool, let's look under the hood real quick and we'll finish looking around the car. Okay, so there's the hood. So pretty dirty and dusty up under here. Um, cow panel is packed full of leaves and pine needles and all kinds of trashy junk, which we'll take off. Ah, see an aftermarket hood, guys. Remember in your... Uh... There we go. Remember I told you that's one of the things to look out for. Of course, I did see that when I bought it. But anyway, there's an example of one that does not have the factory markings, no VIN number, no fire blanket, nothing. And in fact, here on the sticker, it actually will show, it says it's from certified part. Yeah, so there you go. It's so been replaced. Been replaced. So now we know what happened to the clear coat. It's been repainted and they didn't do it right. And what happened to your bumper cover too. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened to that. Well, we've got a new hood, so probably somewhere along the line that was. Oh yeah, 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 too. for sure. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look at the rest of this thing. Okay, come on, right here. I've got it right here, Jen. At the okay. uh, looks like this particular fender is still good. Yeah, I've got do have some clear. A little coat bit of clear right coat here. damage there. I don't know if we can actually make that out or not. And on the mirror. Well, actually, this car is, it's clear to say it's got clear coat damage. This, is, this has just got general clear coat damage everywhere. See it again up here. Oh, there's no clear coat left on no, the roof at all. Just these two, just exactly like the hood. Oh, they're going to get plenty of clear coat videos on this one. They will. And down here on your doors, clear coats also. Looks like the pillars are good. See? Oh, up here at the top. And here. I don't know if we can take the uh, range out and see the little darker oranges color on the bottom. Uh-huh. Clear coat peel damage. More clear coat peel damage. Oh, by the way, guys, just for your what's it worth, this window is needs a regulator. Tires are good. They're, like, brand new. Spoiler kind of looks like crap because it's like a... Isn't that kind of like the yellow that they use in traffic? It's like that orangey yellow. They clearly painted that and then installed it, but they have the wrong number, so we're going to have to change the color of that, too, if we hope to make this car look good at all Got little clear, uh, okay more clear coat damage on the lid. we can clearly see this is an ls with a spoiler it does have a set of aftermarket wheels same thing take a look at the trunk sweetness ah so this car comes bearing. with a wheel bearing a brand new wheel bearing okay so we definitely know we need a wheel bearing aside from that believe it or not the trunk's not too bad Trunk's not bad, missing a spare tire. I'm just trying to give them everything you do to being able to make a good assessment on the vehicle's value. Take a look. There's the spare tire. Oh, wait, there is a spare tire. Oh my God. And a sock. And what is that? Oh, that looks like a spark plug or something. Uh, what is all this under here? Let's take a look. a brand new wheel bearing. Brand new in the box. Some water. Some water. There's a sock. If anybody needs any of our viewers need a sock, we'll get I, you set up. I feel very confident saying they're going to probably pass on that. Um, looking at here at the trunk lines, they look good. Not terrible. Not terrible. Just a little dirty. Let's see if this is actually functional. Yes, it is. Whole lot of clear coats. Oh my God! Here we go. Round two. Let's look at her just peeling the clear coat off. Oh my God. So we have clear coat from almost, the pinstripe up. Every, yeah, here's a great, if they can see, great contrast in the two colors. On this see, color. this, this wasn't blended correctly. Not even close. Don't know if you can actually see the difference. 
This right here is a brighter yellow, and this right here is more like a traffic color this is yellow. It's kind of lemon. Yeah, it's more like a lemon sunshiny, and then on the bottom is where they tried to blend it. Let's take a look at the inside. How does it look? The inside of this car is not terrible. You see the door panels looking good. Not bad at all. Neat Inside's clean. good. Little now cleaning, a little shine. It does have a cracked lid on the center console. Um, also, the odometer only works when you push it in. The LED lights. It has an ABS light and a um, traction light. Those are pretty simple. Just to give you ideas for mill codes. The cooling fan seems to be having issues. Um, it checked out good as far as its compression and all that, so we don't think it needs a head gasket or anything, but it does have a cooling system. AC is working. Even the floor mats in, uh, actually look really good in this car, too. I think they're aftermarket. Yeah, those are aftermarket. Yeah, but still, we have hey, a whole carpet, so that's a plus. I'm not dealing with just half. All right, so if this is your first car you've tuned in, this is the second car of a three-car series. Yes, it is. And Jen, tell them about that series. Okay, so basically, if you have not seen the first video, go check that out because we're doing a contest for all of our viewers. Um, the first car in our three car series was our O2 Stratus that we just sent out on Saturday, I believe. So what we want you guys to do is you go give us or tell us what you think you would pay for this car, what we paid for this car, what it will cost to rehab and get this car ready for resale, and what you would project as the final value for this car. That's right. That's all you got to do. And at the yeah. end of the contest, you're going to get in the car man's pocket. I'm going to buy you whatever you want from the Ultimate Line of McGuire's and exactly. send it to you. And we're doing, as the car man suggested, also we're going to have a like a first and second place coming into the winter right now. So. Yeah, because you know what? It's kind of hard. Even on the first one, some of y'all are really, really You're close. Really, you are. You're doing really, really well. Um, but make sure if, you ha if you're seeing this for the first time and you have not commented on the Stratus, go back and be sure to give your guesses on that too because we're going to use, you have to do the first three cars in order to be eligible. You got to do all three of them to make the, to make make the run. Fair. Right. So you got the Stratus. This is car number two. And in the next couple days, we'll have car number three sitting here for you. Yeah, and um, what else was I going to say? We've got a lot of videos coming out today, but on this particular one, you know, hit it with your gut. I'm being honest with you about what it takes. Of course, I've already driven these cars. They've been test-driven, um, analyzed, uh, hooked up to machines, all that stuff. So what I'm telling you is wrong with them is what's wrong with them. No surprises there. Right, and be sure to take into account the couple of little things that are going on that he shared with you mechanically the cooling fan not coming on right now the uh, window the window which the window regulator work. you can see they taped it yes and the uh what was the other thing you said the abs light or abs light and i do have a wheel bearing going out and a but wheel bearing. they did drop us a brand new one in the trunk thank god yes they just didn't know how to install it um all right guys so i guess we're gonna we're gonna wrap this one up. Look at that sexy truck behind you. Woo! Yeah. That's how the car man rides, keep in baby. Mind, guys, Deep, um, baby. He still hasn't checked out my misfire code on my baby, which is sitting down there in the bottom of the parking lot. Uh -huh. yeah, oh yeah. That's my baby. Jen, so that'll be enough out of you, Jen. He get on him, guys. Like he needs to take care. I'm a female. Like you know. I I'm so sorry. I will take care of your misfire. Do not. Driving this one yet guys he's still working on this one but this is his personal baby that's now part of our fleet collection. <laughs> it's part of our fleet yeah. we have a few in the fleet we have a few we have a few and we're gonna find we have mine. motorcycles trucks cars he has a motorcycle i don't have a motorcycle. planes trains automobiles we got it it's all right here the car man channel we love you guys love man you. subscribe thank you for your support hope all you dads had a and moms who wear both hats had a fabulous father's day and stay tuned to the channel today. We've got a lot more coming at you. Yeah, a lot more material. Um, at the end of this video, because I know I know Dragnet's going to be watching it. <laughs> Dragnet. <laughs> Dragnet, I don't know how to take this, bro. You were like, the right one entered the contest. <laughs> how does that make me feel, my man? My man. I thought we were close. I thought you were my boy. What's up? This is great. It's just great.
great. I love it. They always take the pretty girl's side. Peace out, man. Love it, love, love it, love it. it. See ya.